Hey C3 family, welcome to day 16 as we turn the corner for the second half of November fast. This week we're continuing our focus on developing our prayer lists and because today is Monday, we're leaning into the topic Set the Tone Monday. So let's dive in. I look forward to getting up early on Monday mornings, grabbing a cup of coffee, sitting on my chair looking out the front window as the sun comes up. Symbolically, I'm there to embrace my week. And with that, I love to set the tone for my week during my Monday's prayer time. Thus, the theme, Set the Tone Monday. Your activity today is to personalize your Monday outline that I've created for you. Now, my first step is to pull out my phone and look back over the previous week and give God thanks for key meetings, experiences, or accomplishments that took place. I especially like to take some time thanking God for the key people and key moments I experienced during our weekend gathering. Now, I can really get stuck there for a while because we have so many amazing people that make up our church family. I feel really fortunate to be a part of their world and to have them in mind. And so I spent some time just giving God thanks for the growth and who they are and their impact. From there, I look forward in my calendar and I pray over the week ahead and especially for key meetings or projects due problems that I need to solve. I, I want God involved with my week ahead. Next up, I like to spend some time praying for the key people in my world who need critical breakthroughs that require prayer over probably over time. It's not a long list, but when I commit to praying for someone with a need like that, I like to make a habit to immediately add their name to my prayer list, which I keep also handy on my phone. Incidentally, that list also includes people I previously prayed for whose needs have been met. Their names are still there, but they've been italicized and they have a line right through them. Over time, that list has grown and I love to see those names because it reminds me that past prayers were effective and, that, and seeing that stirs my faith for the prayers I'm praying today. I love to see God answer prayer and I want to remember it when he does. Now also during November fast, I've committed to praying for those who have registered for the fast. So every Monday I call out their names individually in prayer, asking God to meet them where they are at in a life-changing way during the fast. If you registered, I'll be praying for you today. Maybe you could return the favor and pray for me. Now last up, I like to spend some time on Mondays to pray for our nation and some of those top shelf issues we're facing, like our elections and coronavirus, the lockdowns, just to name a few. I also lift up our president, our vice president, our House, Senate, and Supreme Court. I try to pray for our governor and our mayor, our military and first responders. It's then I also spend some time praying for God to visit a region in powerful ways. I wanna see revival in my lifetime. So today, your activity is to develop your Monday prayer list. After that, we'll be in chapter 16 of Proverbs. And when you're all done, don't forget to leave a comment on our blog or even easier on today's social media posts. So dive in, let's take some ground and have another fantastic day.